Here's a short video on how to replace a bushing that has fallen out of an end plate. So first you want to start by cleaning out the hole where the bushing has fallen out. This instrument here doesn't have any bushings in it. It's a new instrument, but we'll simulate that one of them has fallen out. So what, uh, what we've done is we've wrapped some sandpaper around a pencil. Can you show the pencil there? Mm -hmm. so, so we're just kind of wrapping it around the tip of a pencil to create a cone. We're using 220 grit, that should work. And then putting it in the hole from the bottom and just spinning it around a bit to clean out any glue or felt residue that is still attached. Okay, now we're gonna take the replacement bushing, which are these little circles that we have. And in the middle, there's actually, it might still be attached if you have one of our replacements. There's just a little bit that needs to come out, the little slug from the middle. Okay, now you want to take the pencil and put the bushing on the pencil as such. And then you want to use a white glue such as um, Elmer's glue works for this or any typical PVA white glue. Put it on a toothpick and then you're going to want to circle the hole with it. And we sort of keep it mostly on the, maybe the bottom half of the hole because the bushing is going to get pushed in from the bottom and it should drag the glue up to the top of the hole. Okay, if you get any on the front, you can just quickly wipe it off. Okay, now we take the bushing on the pencil and just press it in. And as we're pressing it in, we kind of just you might spin it a little just to sort of get it to come off of the pencil if you need to. And then there you go. You want it so that it's just about flush or just a little shy of the top, but generally not sticking out the top. And then you press the uh, pushing against the walls. And you can let it sit for a few minutes or once you feel like it's gonna stay in, we're gonna come back with this burnishing tool here. And this tool is just a 3 16 plastic rod, you could also use a drill bit. We're gonna stick it in the hole. And we're gonna move it in and out and really kind of just open it up while the glue is still a little bit wet and malleable and stir it around and really press the bushing against the, uh, the inside of the hole. And then we'll show you like as an added protection you can put glue, and you should, you, you should put glue on the back, not in the hole itself, we're putting it right on where the wood and the bushing touch each other. And kind of paint that around. And that'll help it from getting pushed out in the future. And that is how you replace a bushing. And if it's at all seems stiff over the button, just continue to burnish with the, with the stick after it's dry. There you go.